we can check 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 can you hear that all right oh, okay i got you all right we're gonna go after the national anthem yep Hello and welcome to Johnson Coliseum. Jason Barfield here as the Sam Houston State men get set to take on the Demons of Northwestern State. A Southland Conference battle here on a Wednesday night. Bearcats on a roll coming in at 4-1 and one in league play while the Demons are 0-5 in the Southland, 3-13 and 13 overall. And this is a Demon team that despite the... 0-5 record. They played some close ones. Joining me tonight on the broadcast, Jordan Smith. And Jordan, when you look at the Demons' 0-5 record, it can be a little bit deceiving when you look at the way the scores and the games have kind of played out a little bit. Right, exactly. And just like you mentioned, they've been a lot closer than what the what the final re uh, record says here. Uh, besides their game on December 28th at Nichols, where they lost by 41 points. Other than that, they've had a is that a nine-point defeat. They've had a two-point defeat. They've had an eight-point defeat. So they've really they've been in all of these games. They just haven't been able to close out the last little bit, get the lead, and then win the game. And meanwhile, on the Bearcats side, the Bearcats are a team that are rolling in Southland play. They dropped their opener on the road at Abilene Christian. But since then, they've come back and they've won four straight. And a lot of that has been on the back of the play of Marcus Harris. The transfer from San Diego sat out last year, and now Marcus has come on, and he has been their best player here in Southland Conference play, a guy that Coach Hooten after the game last week said, it just takes a guy who sat out for an entire year a little time to get in the groove. This is what they saw in practice last year. Every single day, they couldn't wait to get him in the fold, and he has really been producing lately. He's averaging at nearly 15 points a game now in Southland Conference play and had a big night the last time out for the Bearcats here at home. Yeah, and he, he was a player, I was watching the team during warmups, and he was a player that I highlighted on my sheet of paper as a, really the main player to watch. He seems like he's a really big difference maker, like you said, averaging about the 15 points uh, in conference play so far, having a, a field goal percentage from three, even of 45 and a half percent. So that's something that we're gonna have to watch more in this game is the way he drains the deep ball uh, and tries to tack on the score early on. Let's take a look at the starting lineups first for Northwestern State. And the Demons are running out a young lineup here as C.J. Jones, the guard, is a freshman out of Monroe. 
Isaiah Sweeney. He's a senior. He's out of Compton, California. He's joined by Malik Matwire, a six foot seven junior guard out of Clarence. There's a look at the starting lineup. Darian Dixon, six foot eight forward. He's a freshman. And then Ishmael Lane, a junior. He's a forward senior, six foot eight. For the Bearcats, we'll take a look at their starting lineup. Aubreyon Edwards will get the start at forwards. Edwards was out of the lineup last time out. Josh Butte, a guy who's just worked his way into the mix, he set out the first half of the year with a knee injury. John Dewey, the junior guard, he runs everything. And then you saw Marcus Harris has worked his way into the lineup, averaging 16.2 per game in Southland play. And then Chris Galbraith, who's jumping it up for the Bearcats and it is controlled by the Demons. So we are underway here. Game number six in Southland Pelly. Bearcats going for five in a row before heading out on the road. That's C.J. Jones up top. Dixon and Matwire. Ten left to shoot. Long three ball fired up by Matwire. No good. Offensive rebound and the putback goes for Ishmael Lane. Yeah, good second chance effort there from Ishmael Lane, staying with it, boxing out the Bearcat and getting the basket. Galbraith catches in the high post for the Bearcats. There's Marcus Harris. Dewey will spot up for three, back iron, no good. Butte fighting for the rebound, can't control it. And then a foul is called against the Demons. That's going to go against Darian Dixon, came in late and got a piece of Butte. And that's something that Northwestern really doesn't want to have put on them early on is these early fouls that you get them in a lot of trouble. The Bearcats get an inbound underneath the basket. Setting up the offense, Dewey, and a foul called on Dewey. They're going to say he pushed off on the drive. So each team committing an early foul here in the first minute of the game. left to shoot for the Demons. Into the paint, turnaround jumper. It doesn't go, but a foul is called. It's going to go against Josh Butte. That'll be a shooting foul. We'll put Darian Dixon at the line to shoot a pair. In and out on the first one for Dixon. Free throws have been a problem for Northwestern State, shooting just 52% in the south one as they get one of two here. And that's something if you want to win ball games, especially conference games, you've got to knock down those free throws when given the opportunity. And you've got close losses and you're shooting 50% from the strike. That's a glaring spot. Chris Galbraith, step back jumper from 17, rattles in and out, no good. Cats have started off cold here to start the ball game. Three nothing early demon lead. Ball stripped away, loose on the floor. Edwards was diving for it, it rolls out of bounds. It looks like it went off Sweeney last. Two minutes gone, nothing on the board for the Bearcats. A little slow start here. Harris from the corner. Wasn't there, good defense by the Demons. Gives back to Galbraith. Galbraith drives, shot off the glass, no good. And the rebound to the Demons. Nothing going for the Bearcats early on. Pass into the paint to Lane, and Lane walked with it. Right in front of the Bearcat bench, a lot of help on that call. Everybody jumped up, giving on the travel sign. <laughs> yeah, and that's some good interior defense by the Bearcats being able to prevent him from being able to set up and get ready for the shot. Harris around to Dewey. 
Back to Harris, thought about a three, pulled it down, drives into the paint, layup, off the glass and in. Marcus Harris, we talked about him in the open. He gets the first bucket of the game for the Bearcats. Takes nearly three minutes to do it. Yeah, what a shock the way that he's played as of late for the Bearcats. Not a surprise, he gets the first basket. And an offensive foul away from the ball. Illegal screen is the call. It goes against Ishmael Lane. First foul against Lane, two on the Demons. Substitution for the Bearcats during that stoppage. Freddie Batondo checked into the ball game. Dewey will give it to Galbraith. Galbraith drives, lays it off the glass, no good. Offensive rebound for Aubrey on Edwards. Fresh 30 for the Bearcats. Dewey drives, lays it in off the glass. Good job by Dewey on that one to take advantage to drive the lane and charge it in for two. Nearly turned over and it's gonna stay with the Demons. Edwards chased it down as he stepped out of bounds. Baseline jumper up and good from Sweeney. Cats quickly the other way, not wasting a lot of time. Give is to Edwards, Edwards, baseline, spin. Gives to Batondo, has the ball knocked out of his hands, it goes out of bounds. Yeah, and that was, that was pretty close to a foul. It looked like, uh, I believe, that one was Lane that might have had a hand on his arm as he tried to go up, but I'm gonna say out of bounds either way, Bearcats keep the ball. Jumper from the corner, in and out, no good. Batondo there on the putback. Six-five, Bearcat lead. And ball loose on the floor. It's going to go over to the Bearcats. A hustle play on the defensive side of things, and the Cats will get the ball back with that stoppage. We've got a timeout on the floor. We will take it. 15-30 to play here in the first Cats out to the early 6-5 lead here on the Bearcat Sports Network. Typical. Back here at Johnson Coliseum, Jason Barfield alongside Jordan Smith. A little slow coming out of the gate for both teams right now, Jordan. Yeah, it really has been. They're kind of trying to thaw out a little bit. We've had a little bit of a freeze here in South Texas trying to thaw out, but looks like Bearcats might have something coming up here in the next couple of possessions. Lob into the paint, layup is up and in. That's Batondo, back-to-back -back buckets for him. His first two buckets of the season. He's got four points, cat lead is three. That school called off today. First day of classes. Starting to see some students filing into the arena as well. We wondered if they were going to make it out. Lob into the paint. Kick it back out. 
Three ball is up and no good. Galbraith there for the rebound. Cats out and running with it. Dewey to Edwards, gives it to Galbraith, who's trailing the play, shot up, no good. Galbraith just got a little ahead of himself. Yeah, wanted to try to get something that might not have been there with that good interior defense, and unfortunately, they don't get the basket. And that'll be a turnover by the Demons. It is already their fifth turnover of the game. That was one thing that they had talked about as of late, they had not been turning the ball over as much. Eight turnovers in a loss to McNeese. But already five here as Galbraith drives, lays it up and in. Cats are getting to the glass. And that's exactly what you want to do if you are the Bearcats. Drive, drive, drive and penetrate the inside game so that way you can kick out and get some more threes and mid-range jump shots. 6-0 run for the Bearcats now. Jump shot, long jumper, wild off the glass. It's battled around and it's out of bounds and it'll be Bearcat basketball. Yeah, the Bearcats 5 of 11 from the floor. I think all five of those are layups or tip-ins. They are and you know that that's a good testament to the Bearcats forcing themselves to use that inside game and forcing themselves to not out, not just try to go for the long ball, not try to go for the mid-range shot. Utilize their big guys down low and try to get something going down in the basket. Edwards with it here, looking to drive. Into the paint, lays it up, and he was fouled and will go to the line. It wasn't there initially for Edwards. He backed off, hesitated a bit, and then took the drive. He's able to get himself a couple of free throws. Yeah, and a good job by Edwards to force himself to the free throw line on that one. Once again, Bearcats showing a good example of how they're driving to the basket. First free throw by Edwards is good. Josh Delaney will check into the ball game for the Bearcats. John Dewey will step out. Second free throw for Edwards is good. It's been a while since the Demons have scored. 2.42 now since their last points. Meanwhile, the Cats have rattled off eight straight over the last 2.25. Larry Owens with it there, checked in a few moments ago, as did Caleb Starks. Long jumper, no good, tapped back. Batondo there, had it in his hands, it got knocked away, and a travel is called on the baseline. Ishmael Lane had the steal. He was underneath the basket. He went for a jump stop and his feet just slid and he couldn't keep them in place. Yeah, and unfortunately for him, that's not something they really want right now. Like you said, it's it's been a few minutes since they, about three and a half minutes or so since they've actually last scored. And so they really want to try to come out of this timeout and start off strong and they haven't been able to do that yet. Couple of subs for the Bearcats. Bubba Furlong in the game, as is Jamal Williams. Delaney has his shot blocked. Furlong, a five foot nine freshman out of Waco. Jamal Williams, he's an experienced senior coming off the bench. Six foot five guard out of Houston. Guy who's played just about every position on the floor. So Edwards drives, and he was fouled on his way to the basket. There's not a lot of guys talking about Jamal Williams who at the end of their career can say they've spent significant time at every single position. But over the last couple of years, depending on injuries and stuff like that, he's played point guard for an entire season and he spent time in the post just because of his length and athleticism and has matched himself up down low. A guy who's been a very versatile player for the Bearcats in his four year career. And that's something that I'm sure the Bearcats love is to have a player who's as versatile as Edwards has been, giving them a lot of flexibility in their lineup night in and night out. Edwards misfired on both of his attempts, so the lead remains seven for the Bearcats. Caleb starts with it up top, guarded by Harris. And that looked like a travel in the paint, ball loose on the floor and we're going to get a jump ball. But I think the Demons got away with a travel. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking too. They had a, about a couple travels on that one. <laughs> but you know, like you said, they got away with one, but now there's only four seconds on the shot clock. 
Or actually, I think they're going to give it to they're Sam Houston. Switch it around and say it was Bearcat ball because the Demons did win the opening tip. So this is the first tie up that we've had. So yeah, it should be Sam Houston ball. I don't know if the arrow was wrong down there or if they just didn't look at it. They got it right. Bearcat basketball leading by seven on an 8 0 run. Harris will pull up, fire a three, back iron no good, a little too strong. By the way, Albert Almanza now in the ball game for the Bearcats. Three on the other end for the Demons. High bounce, no good. Tip in goes for Caleb Starts. That snaps a about a four and a half minute stretch without a point for the Demons. Unfortunately for the Bearcats, they don't have a field goal over their last two and a half minutes. So it's only a five point game as Almanza in the corner. That's normally a shot he takes. Didn't take it there. Almanza, little bounce pass into the paint, layup no good, Furlong, rebound, and has it knocked out of his hands, actually he lost it out of bounds. And so it will be Demon basketball. We've got a stoppage on the court, we'll take it. 11-27 to play here in the first. Bearcats lead it 12-7 here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Welcome back to Johnson Coliseum. Jason Barfield here alongside Jordan Smith. Early going right now, the offenses aren't really going. It's just a 12-7 Bearcat lead as we've played eight and a half minutes of basketball. It's Demon Ball coming out of the break. No change for the Bearcats. Same five remain out on the floor. Ball knocked away by Delaney, stays with the Demons. They'll fire up a long three, back iron no good. Offensive rebound, knocked away Harris. Does he keep it in? Yes, he did. Nice work there by Marcus Harris. Yeah, great job of keeping his bounce and being able to save the ball just in time before it went out of bounds and now gives him an opportunity here to score very quickly. Jamal Williams on the drive, gets to the glass, lays it up, he left it short. They've anticipated contact that didn't come. Three ball fired up by Lane, no good. Rebound to Jamal Williams. Delaney, long pass out to Furlong and he can't handle the pass. Had him open, just couldn't connect. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure they'll go back to that at some point in the game. You know, just unfortunately, like you said, just not able to maintain control of the ball and just falls out of bounds. Meanwhile, the Bearcats now have gone more than three minutes without a point. So it remains a 12-7 game. A running floater in the paint. Misses, and well, that's got to be a foul, right? That's what I'm thinking. What? Galbraith <laughs> looked like he got kicked from behind as he was running down the floor, and he lost it. And it goes out of bounds, and it'll be a turnover. I just assumed the whistle was going to come in, and it never did. Ten minutes played. It's just a 12-7 game. Pass into the paint. Shot too strong off the glass. Bearcats come up with the rebound. Quickly out to Delaney. Delaney 
Pushing the ball down the floor, into the paint. Hands it off to Williams, back to Delaney. Now to Jamal Williams. Williams will drive. Reverse layup, and it goes in. Well, that's a good layup right there by Williams with the reverse on that one. A little bit of a stylish shot on that one and gets them their first basket in about five minutes or so. It's been a while for the Bearcats. Still on a 10-2 run right now. There's a long jumper by the Demons, and that one is good by Sweeney. Back to a five-point game. It's been a while since we've had back-to-back -back buckets by both teams. Galbraith, little 12-foot jumper, rattles out. It's normally a shot Chris Galbraith knocks down. It's kind of the way things are going for everybody tonight. Cats just six of 17 from the floor. Northwestern State only four of 13. Knocked away by Galbraith, it'll stay with the Demons. John Dewey will check back into the ball game. Josh Delaney will step out. sure what the uh, delay here is. Just um. letting all the... Uh... And now we're going to have a substitution for the Demons. Like they were making sure everybody had the jerseys tucked in properly before the officials were going to put the ball in play. Well, three ball, no good. Bearcats tried to keep it alive, and it goes out of bounds, and it's going to be Demon basketball. So the Cats couldn't control the rebound, and it's a turnover to the Demons. I don't know if it's going to go down as a turnover, but that's certainly what that was. So it was an easy rebound the Bearcats should have been able to make. Yeah, and that's something that they're going to have to work on the rest of this first half, and then I know for sure that will be uh, something that's talked about at halftime in the locker room. Pass in the paint, ball knocked away by the Bearcats, and now we've got a foul as the Cats had numbers getting back. Fouls on number zero, CJ Jones. Foul called on CJ Jones, and well, that's not a bad foul by Jones because the Cats had a three on one break. Yeah, a good foul there to stop what would have been an easy transition basket on that fast break for the Bearcats and would have put them up by about seven at least. Dewey to Almanza. Galbraith with it here. Galbraith drives, and shot was blocked. Ball's loose on the floor, and a jump ball will be called. Jump ball on the floor. So we've got a stoppage in play. We'll take it. 7.41 to play here in the first half. Bearcats lead it 14-9. The Sam Houston State basketball here on the Bearcats Sports Network. The original light beer. Back in its original bottle. The same great tasting, 96-calorie Miller Light. Just dressed up for the holidays. Hey, JJ, what's going on? I thought we were doing a commercial. Yeah, for H-E-B Natural Meats with nothing added. So this commercial has nothing added. No actors, no music, no funny props. Nothing. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. JJ said nothing added. Nothing. Nada. H-E-B Natural Meats with What makes the perfect holiday beer? More taste. Only 96 calories. And maybe an ugly sweater. Happy Holidays from Miller Lite. Back here at Johnson Coliseum, Jason Barfield alongside Jordan Smith. And it hadn't been pretty offensively so far, Jordan. Just a 14-9 game as we've got 741 left to play. Neither team has really got it going shooting yet. Yeah, I was really expecting Sam Houston State to come out here and, and really show their offensive 
uh, play, which they've done really well so far. They're averaging about 70 points a game uh, so far this season. So I'm kind of shocked, just like you. Shot was blocked by Galbraith, but right there on the spot for the Demons was Darwin Dixon. Dixon with the tip in. It's just a three-point game and a turnover by the Bearcats. Demons put the ball on the floor, and the Cats have it tied up, and that'll go back over to Sam Houston. There's just no flow to this game right now. This ball goes back over to the Cats. We talked early on about the Cats' ability to get to the glass. Well, all their points, with the exception of two free throws, have come in the paint. 12 points in the paint. That means none of their mid-range and three-point jumpers are falling. As Dewey gets into the paint, and an offensive foul called on Dewey. The second time he's been called for that extra arm getting out there. And that's something that, you know, while it is a, a good move to use, it's only a good move to use if you can do it the right way and you can do it without the referee noticing or even extending out the arm too far. Uh, unfortunately for Dewey, second time he's been caught tonight. Once they start looking for that, they're going to call it every single time. Three ball for the Demons, no good. Almanza on the backside with the rebound. Almanza out to Delaney. Butte sets the screen. Delaney couldn't get into the paint. Now to Almanza. Almanza on the drive. Kicks. Williams, three. Good. Jamal Williams. Good shot first there. Three. First points outside the paint for the Bearcats. Williams buries the three, and maybe that'll start loosening things up a little bit for these Bearcat shooters. Yeah, good shot there by uh, by Williams. Like you said, hopefully it'll start kind of gaining a little bit more com confidence offensively for this Sam Houston squad. Ten left to shoot for the Demons. Into the paint, a little wild shot, and it goes flying over. Matwire. Well, just kind of threw that one up there. Checking in for the Bearcats, Freddie Batondo. Freddie Batondo. Batondo with his first two buckets of the season earlier. Cats really spreading the scoring around. Williams with five, Galber two, Batondo four, Edwards two, Dewey two, Harris two. Six different guys have gotten in on the action. Delaney goes to the bucket. There's Batondo backside rebound, no good. Cats had two looks at it from inside. Couldn't convert either. Free throw line jumper in and out, no good. And rebound is Jamal Williams. Williams looks to put the pressure on. Williams lobs it up for Batondo. Couldn't handle it, a little too strong. Stayed with it, reverse layup, no good. Tapped out. And Williams comes out and gets it to Almanza. Fires a three. Front iron, no good. Oh! Williams on the rebound and had his head grabbed as he was going to the basket. And Jamal Williams will go to the line to shoot a pair. Yeah, that was a, that was a wild grab there uh, by, by Sweeney on that one. You know, and unfortunately for Northwestern State, that's going to cost him in the long run as now we're going to get two free throws for the Cats. One more free throw for Williams. Front iron gets the roll to go, so two for two. Bearcats four for six for the game. Lead extended out to eight. Northwestern State at two and a half minutes without scoring. A couple of scoring droughts on both sides in this game. Pass comes into the paint, just three left to shoot. Turnaround jumper off the glass, no good. And the ball will go to the Bearcats. Out to Galbraith. Galbraith goes to the rim, lays it up and in. Chris Galbraith. Looked like he might have gotten himself a little too far under the rim, but he's able to control the speed a little bit and get the layup up and in. So the Demons will take a timeout. 
It'll be a full timeout, so we will step aside with them. 421 left to play here in the first. Cats have extended the lead to 10 here on the Bearcat Sports Network. All right, Bearcat fans, get on your feet. It's time for the Tough Shirts t shirts Back here at Johnson Coliseum, 10-point Bearcat lead as we approach the four-minute mark of this game. Quick jumper out of the break, and a foul called, and it's going to go against the Demons. And I believe they're going to get Dixon. So Darian Dixon called for the foul, the over the back. And that was the seventh team foul against the Demons. So we're going to go to the other end of the floor and shoot some free throws. It'll be Chris Galbraith at the stripe shooting them. 61% free throw shooter on the season. First free throw in and out, no good. So can't cash in on the one and one opportunity. Remains a 10 point game. Demons over the last five shooting. Fire up a three here. Left it short. Edwards came in for the rebound for the Bearcats. Edwards out to Harris. Harris gives it back to Edwards. Baseline drive wasn't there, so they'll reset the offense. Still 20 left to shoot. Harris out to Delaney. Off the screen, trying to get the pass back to Batondo. Couldn't. Somehow stayed with it. Now Batondo does have it. Gives it back to Delaney. Delaney has to heave up a desperation three, and it's not going to hit anything. It'll be a shot clock violation. And I'm not so sure that Delaney was aware of what the shot clock had on it right right when he started losing the ball at about 10 seconds. I'm not sure that he was aware of what time was left on the clock. Yeah, about the last 10 seconds of that shot clock was kind of a frantic scramble by the Bearcats. Never had anything as we've got a shot on the other end. Free throw line jumper. Good, tough, contested shot by Sweeney goes. Snaps about a four-minute stretch for the Demons without a point. Back to an eight-point game, 21-13. Delaney in the paint, floater up, too strong, back iron, and the Demons come up with the rebound. Pass into the paint to Owens. Owens spins, turnaround shot, doesn't get the roll to go. Galbraith with the rebound. Galbraith pushing the ball up the floor. Out to Harris. Harris, catch, drive, layup. No good, but he'll go to the line. Foul called on Sweeney. That's three on Sweeney. Marcus Harris at the stripe. He's had a quiet first half. First free throw is good. Meanwhile, Sweeney has been the only guy who's been consistently scoring for the Demons. Sweeney six points on three of six shooting. And... Sweeney will check out. Second free throw by Harris, no good. So one of two for Harris.
Turn around and a foul called on Butte. So he got the hand down on the spin. I'm going to say that's a shooting foul. His second team's fourth. That'll put Ishmael Lane at the line. First free throw for Lane is good. The Just the second team. time to the stripe for the Demons here in the first half. Jamal Williams will check in for the Bearcats. Butte steps out. Cats have failed to capitalize on long droughts by the Demons without points or without field goals. Right now, Northwestern State just won for their last eight shooting, but it's just a seven point game. Delaney wide open, and he didn't see it until late. That gave the Demons defense a chance to recover. Blocked shot. Northwestern State now on the drive, poked away by Williams, but it will stay with the Demons. Well, Delaney came off that screen. He got in the paint. I think he was so wide open, he wasn't expecting it. By the time he took it to the basket, the Demons got the shot blocked. Yeah, and honestly, you got to give credit to Darian Dixon on that one coming out of nowhere and surprising the Bearcats on that inside drive and getting the nice block out of it. Ten left to shoot for the Demons. Jumper no good. Offensive rebound, Northwestern State. Little put back, doesn't go either. Ball still stays with the Demons. Turnaround shot, left it short. Still loose, still with the Demons. Layup, no good. Ball still being batted around, another bunny. Finally, that one goes. After about five point blank shots by Northwestern State, the Cats could not pull down the rebound. If only they had a category for fifth chance opportunities, I'll tell you what. Just a five point game. Edwards kicks to the corner. Williams fires a three. Good. Jamal Williams with the three. Second three for Jamal Williams. Under a minute left. Bearcat lead is eight, 25 17. Demons trying to get the ball into the paint. It's not there. Now they do get it inside. Turnaround shot is up and good by Ishmael Lane. Six point game. Bearcats can pretty much hold for the last shot. Jason Hooten's going to take a timeout and set something up. Timeouts, Bearcats. It'll be a 30 second timeout. We'll hold it right here. Let you know what's to come for the Bearcats after tonight's game. They will head on the road. Three of their next four on the road at Lamar on Saturday. That'll be a 4.30 tip in Beaumont and will be on ESPN3. They're back here at home next Wednesday, southeastern Louisiana. 6.30 game for that one. That'll be our first ESPN3 broadcast of the new year of South One Play. And then back-to-back -back games on the road at Stephen F. Austin at McNeese. So you look at this next stretch of games for the Bearcats. They've got some of the tougher teams in the league with Lamar, Southeastern, SFA, and McNeese. That is your top half of the standings right now in the Southland Conference. So the Cats, winners of four straight, trying to make it five here tonight. Right now getting their, getting their hands full against Northwestern State. Edwards with it for the Bearcats. 15 left to shoot. He'll get it to Delaney. Now Delaney will set the offense up. 10 left on the shot clock. Give us to Edwards. To Williams. Marcus Harris. Thought about the three. Harris drives. Little scoop. Layup is up and in. Nice drive by Marcus Harris. Desperation heave. No good by the Demons. And that does it for the first half. It was not a pretty half of basketball by any means. The Bearcats will take it into the break, leading this one 27 to 19. So we'll step aside with them. We'll come back for the second half here on the Bearcats Sports Network. The Southland Conference basketball tournament is March 7th through 11th at Pearl Center in Katy, Texas. Turn out, no place 
And welcome back to Johnson Coliseum. Jason Barfield here alongside Jordan Smith as we are about a minute or so ready to get the second half underway. Catch up on what's going on around the Southland Conference right now. Four other games in action, all of them still in the first half. Stephen F. Austin leading Abilene Christian 21 to 15. Central Arkansas all over New Orleans right now, 22 to eight. That one's got 11.53 to play in the first. Also about 11 minutes to play in the first. Houston Baptist at Southeastern Louisiana leads that one 19 to seven. And Lamar up on Incarnate Word 25-17. That one with about eight minutes left to play in the first. Here, 27 to 19. And Jordan, this is a game that really neither team has been able to get anything going on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, exactly, and that's something that's really slowed down both of these teams, uh, especially in the turnover category. North Northwestern, 10 turnovers, Sam Houston State, seven. So obviously Sam Houston winning that battle, not by much though, and that is still a high turnover number. But really the big thing that I look at in the first half as the big difference in this one, the Cats have seven assists, Northwestern State has zero. And that's really been the big difference for me in this first half as why Northwestern hasn't had the lead in quite a while and hasn't gotten even closer to uh, getting to that 25 point mark. Yeah, quite a few second chance opportunities for Northwestern State. They're taking advantage of uh, leading that rebounding edge right now. 10 offensive rebounds, eight second chance points. Of course, I think about four of those offensive rebounds came on one possession. Right. But the Bearcats hadn't taken advantage of those turnovers either. You talk about the 10 turnovers by the Demons. The Cats have turned that into just eight points. As it's Northwestern State ball coming out of the break and they quickly fire up a three air ball, no good. And the Cats come up with it. Out to John Dewey. Dewey to Galbraith. Shot blocked out of bounds. It'll be Bearcat basketball. Cats quickly trying to get it right back to where they were in the paint. They had 16 points in the paint in the first half. And a quick substitution by the Demons. We're going to see Jacob Guest check in. I believe that's the first time we've seen Guest in tonight's ball game. The lob comes in to Galbraith, back to Dewey. Dewey, head fake, and he walked with it. Thought about the three, and then on the drive, he's called for the travel. Yeah, unfortunately, when I was at, when I was in my playing time playing rec league ball, I did that one too many times. Then again, I missed most of my shots, but you know, hey. <laughs> Fifteen left to shoot for the Demons. That's Guest who just checked in, slipped, but he's able to hold on to the ball. Guest on the drive, passes down in the corner. Into Dixon, Dixon loses it. Cats come up with it. Dewey catches, lays it in off the glass. And there's where the Cats have to take advantage of the turnovers. Quickly the other way, layup is up and in. So the Demons quickly beat them right back down the floor. Baseline jumper for Galbraith. That one's good. Chris with the pull -up. Lead back up to 10 for the Bearcats. This is their largest lead of the game. They also led by 10 at one point in the first half. Guest will step in, fire up a three. High rebound by Aubreyon Edwards. Out to Dewey. Dewey in the corner for Harris. Fires up a three. Too strong. Offensive rebound for the Bearcats. Dewey comes up with it. Picked up his dribble. He's got to hand it off to Galbraith, who can reset the offense. Galbraith will take it himself. Passes off to Butte. Shot blocked. Stays with Butte. Follow up is good. He's fouled. And he'll go to the line. Good job there by Josh Butte to be able to power through and recover after getting his first shot blocked as you try to go up with it and get that second chance to go in and. Get, possibly get a three-point play. Sweeney checks back into the ball game and Guest will step out. Butte at the line, chance for a three-point play here. Free throw on the way is good. Cats now six of 10 at the stripe. Butte's first three points of the game extends the Bearcat lead to 13. I just feel like if the Bearcats can start knocking down shots and taking advantage of opportunities, they can start to pull away in this ball game. 
Ball knocked free. Long pass out to Edwards. Edwards catches, and he tried to behind the back pass, and it goes off the thigh of Matuire. Cats probably fortunate that that ball stayed with them. They had a three-on-one break and couldn't get anything out of it. They do keep possession, however. As the inbound comes to Edwards. Back to Dewey, spots up, fires a three. No good, rebound Galbraith. Fresh 30 for the Bearcats. Dewey will reset it, got a good look last time. Couldn't finish it off. Just two three-pointers tonight for the Bearcats. They've both been by Jamal Williams. Galbraith, free throw line jumper, high floater, no good. Boy, Edwards cleared to the floor, put back, doesn't go for the Bearcats. Stays with Galbraith, did he dribble on the baseline? No, drives baseline, loses it, but a foul call. That's just good persistence there by Chris Galbraith to stay with the ball, stay with it, get himself to the basket, and get himself two free throws. Yeah, like you said, good job there by Gilbreth to be there on every single facet of the play, even after he missed his own a couple of his own shots, going after getting his own rebound and trying to put it back up. First free throw good as Batondo checks in, Butte out. One more free throw by Galbraith is good. He didn't think he had it. He was crashing in to go for the rebound. It was nothing but net. Lead up to 15 for the Bearcats, 36-21. And a whistle away from the ball. And it's going to go against the Demons. Foul was called on Darian Dixon. So turnover back to the Bearcats. Cats on a 7-0 run right now. Pass inside to Edwards. Harris fires a three. Front iron, no good. Edwards pulls down the offensive rebound. Stayed with it, gives it back to Harris. This time he'll drive. Layup off the glass, doesn't get the roll to go. Follow up by Batondo, no good. Stays with Galbraith, who got pushed to the floor. Boy, but Tondo nearly had the highlight reel flush after the missed shot, but it just bounced out on him. Yeah, that would have been a very, very good put back on that one. But like you said, unfortunately, just bounced out of the rim and wasn't able to fall down. That would have been a really nice highlight reel dunk, though. <laughs> Once again, though, scrappy play underneath by Galbraith. He was able to keep possession for the Bearcats. Free throw line jumper for Galbraith. That's good. First time we've seen him really extend and knock down the mid-range jumper, which he has gotten so good at. Lead is to 17 for the Bearcats as they've scored nine straight. You mentioned in the first half, Demons have these scoring droughts. The Cats have to take advantage of it. They didn't do it in the first half. Demons haven't scored in nearly three minutes. And over that stretch, the Cats have scored nine straight. Drive to the basket, shot up and no good, but a foul called on Marcus Harris. So we've played four minutes here in the second half and the Bearcats have opened this game up. They lead it 38-21 here on the Bearcats Sports Network.
Back here at Johnson Coliseum, Bearcats lead at 38-21. Jason Boyfield alongside Jordan Smith, and Jordan, the Bearcats getting it done on the offensive glass here in the first four minutes. That's right, they've got nine offensive rebounds in the first four minutes of this game alone. They only had eight in the first half, so like you said, really getting it done down low. Couple of free throws for the Demons. First one is up and good. Zayas Sweeney knocks it down. Sweeney with seven points in the game. Second free throw is good. That gives him eight. Bearcat lead down to 15, 38-23. Tondo to Galbraith. Another long jumper by Galbraith. Left it short, follows a shot. Offensive rebound. Ten offensive rebounds in the second half for the Bearcats. Edwards in the corner for Dewey. Well, head fake. Gives it back to Edwards. Fires up a three. In and out, no good. And a foul called. It's going to go against Batondo. Say a push on the rebound. First foul against Batondo, second on the Bearcats here this half. And like you mentioned, the tenth offensive rebound for the Bearcats this half alone. That rebound was Gil Gilbert's tenth rebound of the game, so he's practically at a double double. Pass into the paint, layup is up and good by Larry Owens. Found himself open. First field goal in nearly four minutes for the Demons. Dewey floater in the paint. Left it short. Offensive rebound, Batondo. Put back, doesn't go. Demons nearly turned it over. Now the pass into the paint to Owens. Turn around, layup, good. Batondo fouled him. And that is back to back times. Owens has found himself wide open in the paint. And I think Batondo will be taken out of this one as Butte checks back in. So a chance for a three-point play here by Larry Owens. Freshman out of Monroe, Louisiana. Free throw is no good. Bearcats have missed on 10 of their last 11 shots. A couple of those have been close range opportunities as well. Dewey drives into the paint, wasn't there. Kicks it out to Edwards. Edwards drives baseline, tried to punch, and a foul is called as Edwards was bumped on his way to the basket. Foul called on Owens. That is two on him. You know Edwards wanted to finish off that slam so bad. Now the bench was looking for it too. They were all <laughs> off their feet. So the first free throw is up and good. Get a new poster for his wall. One more free throw for Edwards. That one is good. Gets them both to go. Bearcats for the game now. 10 of 14 at the stripe. Lead back up to 13, 40 to 27. Good work there by Lane just to keep the ball alive. A couple of fingertips kept it in his possession. Nine left to shoot. Ball stripped, out of bounds. It'll stay with the Demons. Just six on the shot clock. And a whistle. And a foul called on the Bearcats before the inbound. And now they're still going to go in and talk to him. Butte was just called for a foul. Now the officials step out and have a talk with Butte and Owens. The thing with that foul is it puts the shot clock up to 20. Turnaround shot by Owens. Doesn't go. Offensive rebound by Lane. 
The dunk is good. He was fouled and will go to the line. Second three-point opportunity for the Demons here in about the last two minutes of the game. Cats trying to find a presence in the paint. They're going to give Bubba Furlong a shot. But Tondo hadn't gotten it done. Butte couldn't get it done. So now Furlong will get a chance in the paint. See if he can limit these opportunities. Now Furlong, the officials just talked to him. And they're making him take the long sleeves off. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. It wasn't a problem in the first half, but evidently it is now. So Furlong removes the long sleeves. Free throw no good. Second time the Demons had a chance for a three-point play. They misfired on the free throw both times. So lead remains 11 for the Bearcats. Dewey into the paint. Head fake, lays it off. Layup is good by Galbraith. Nice work there by Dewey. He faked one way, the defense bit, and he found Galbraith on the backside. And a foul called on Furlong. That's the last thing that Jason Hooten wants to see is Furlong picking up fouls 20 feet away from the basket. Yeah, you really don't want to pick up fouls like that, especially so far out, because then that could rattle his confidence a little bit. He could get another one or two more. All of a sudden, those, those fouls start piling up. Pass comes into Owens. Owens backs in. Furlong was there to contest, but Owens lays it in. Demons are starting to find something right now in the paint with Larry Owens. Dewey on the drive, kicks it out. Edwards fires a three, good! That's what the Bearcats needed. Couldn't have said it any better. Good job there by Edwards just to stay out there on the wing and just to wait his turn for that wide open shot. Got it good to go. Back into the paint, turnaround shot over top of Furlong is good. So back-to-back -back possessions, the Demons have gone at Bubba Furlong, and they've converted it. Dewey into the paint, kicks. Galbraith, he'll fire three. Back iron, no good. Furlong fighting for the rebound. Who touched it last? It was the Demons. Good work there by Furlong. Got a hand on it, knocked it off of, I, of Sweeney. So it stays with the Cats. Inbound, Edwards wide open. Demons didn't pick him up. That, that was kind of funny, honestly. It didn't look like anybody knew that Edwards was even on the floor on that play. Great job on that one. It's not going to have an easier two points than that right there. Lead back to 14 for the Bearcats, and now a whistle away from the ball. And I believe this is going to go against Furlong for the grab. He's saying he just had his arm extended, but he's called for the foul. Couple quick fouls on Furlong, and we've got a media timeout. We'll take it. 11.54 left to play. Bearcats lead it by 14 here on the Bearcats Sports Network.
Back here at Johnson Coliseum, 47-33, Bearcat lead. As Ishmael Lane at the line for the Demons. First free throw is good. Lane leads all scorers in this contest, 15 points now. One more free throw to come, and that one is good. So Lane gets them both. Lead back to 12 for the Bearcats, 47-35. Dewey finds a cutting Harris, lays it up and in. Great recognition there by Dewey. Yeah, great interior pass on that one. Now a foul away from the ball, and it's going to go against Galbraith for the hold. And right now, the Bearcats don't have any answer for whether it's Lane or Owens. They're big men. I don't think Jason Hooten really agreed with the call there. Shaking his head, palms up. Galbraith getting an explanation right now as well. And it's the same explanation that Furlong got. They're saying he hooked as he was trying to defend. Another free throw good for Lane. He's starting to rack it up a little bit from the strike. Now six of seven from the free throw line for Ishmael Lane. He's got 18 points. Dewey on the drive, nothing there. Now to Galbraith, Galbraith turnaround, shot's good. Chris with the and a steal by Dewey. Behind the back pass, Williams lays it up. He's fouled and he'll go to the line. A great, great job by Dewey on that one to get the steal and then the no-look pass, that was, that was pretty sweet on that one. <laughs> Once again, nearly another highlight reel play. We've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take it. 11-13 left to play. Bearcats lead it 51-37 here on the Bearcats Sports Network. The original light beer, back in its original bottle. The same great tasting, 96-calorie Miller Light. Just dressed up for the holidays. At HEB, we are all about Texas beef because we're dedicated to supporting local Texas ranchers, like Dr. Charles Graham from Gonzales, Texas. I've always loved working ranch animals, so I became a veterinarian to ensure my cattle got the best care 24 7. They need lots of TLC, and I make sure to get it. Ranchers like Dr. Graham are why HEB buys more Texas beef than anyone else. This is the best Texas beef department at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. What does it mean to be Southland strong? It's not just big wins. It's success in the classroom. And being engaged with service. Family. Passion. Integrity. Overcoming adversity. Hard work and dedication. Bettering people around you. Striving for excellence. Leadership and competition. On our campuses. And in our communities. We are Southland strong. Back here at Johnson Coliseum, Jason Barfield alongside Jordan Smith. Scoring pace starting to pick up a little bit. Each team has hit their last three field goal attempts. That foul, by the way, by Dixon was his fourth. As he steps out of the game, Larry Owens back in. There's Jamal Williams at the free throw line. First free throw by Williams is good. Williams in double figures. He's got 11. He's three of three at the stripe. One more free throw to come for Jamal Williams. Second one is good, rattled at home. He's got 12. Galbraith leads all Bearcats with 14. It's Lane for the Demons with 18. Those are your double-figure scores tonight. So we still have 11 minutes left to go in this one. Still a lot of basketball to go as Bearcats lead it by 16. Fadeaway jumper, no good. Galbraith there with the rebound. He's got a double-double tonight. Dewey into the corner to Harris. Fires up a three. No good. Just didn't get enough on it. Quiet night for Marcus Harris. It's been big over the last four games for the Bearcats as Owens walked with it in the paint. So 
Harris checks out of the ball game. Josh Delaney in. Bearcats just three of 13 from three-point range tonight. This ball is stolen on the floor by the Demons. Looking to take it the other way. Points in transition, no good. Galbraith there for the rebound. Out to Delaney, numbers for the Cats. Delaney takes it himself, fires a three, good! Josh Delaney with the three. Good look at it here as Delaney buries the three. He had options on the pass, took it himself. The Bearcats have their biggest lead of the game, 19 points. For Delaney, his first three-pointer of the game. Now stolen by the Bearcats, Delaney with it. Four on three on the break. Delaney lays it off for Edwards, wasn't there. Smart move by Edwards to dribble it out and reset. Kicks to Delaney, he'll fire a three. No good, back iron. Dewey fouls on the other end. Sweeney had him beat back. Foul on Dewey, that is his third or fourth? His fourth foul. So one more and he's out of this one. Just showing three in the stats right now and three on the board. I think that's three on Dewey. So he will check out Albert Almanza in. Looking at the foul situations right now, you've got four on Butte, three on Dewey for the Bearcats. That's it for them as far as foul trouble goes. For the Demons, it's Dixon with four, and Sweeney in the game right now playing with three. Delaney gets a, three, a screen, gives it back to Galbraith. Galbraith, long jumper, no good. Aubrey on Edwards there for the offensive rebound. Edwards to Williams, 15-foot jumper. Tried to go off the glass, wasn't there. Floater in the paint, no good. Sweeney couldn't get it to go. No field goals for the Demons over the last three and a half. Galbraith, turnaround jumper, fall away jumper, good. He's got 16 points. He's been a huge difference maker for this Bearcat squad in tonight's game. Without him, this might be a different tale of the tape. Three ball by Sweeney up and good. That's the first three pointer tonight for the Demons. Now one of 11 from outside. It's the lead back to 16 for the Bearcats. Williams, he'll fire up a three. Good! Three from long range tonight for Jamal Williams, and he answers the three by Sweeney. It's back to 19. Demons pass the ball inside, turnaround shot, Owens. Cats still have no answer for Owens. I'm surprised it's taken Northwestern State so long to go back to him. He's now got eight, and they've all looked just like that. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking. Honestly, they started getting in a good rhythm early on, getting it inside. Edwards, three, good. And the lead's 20. Now we're starting to see more and more of what the Bearcats offense is really like. Just had to take them at least a half to get warmed up in this one. 64-44. Sweeney on the drive, layup off the side of the backboard. Williams to Delaney. Delaney drops it off for Edwards. Edwards drives, and he's fouled on his way to the basket. With that whistle, we've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take it. 6.54 left to play. Bearcats lead it 64-44 here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Tonight's 
Back here at Johnson Coliseum, 20-point lead for the Bearcats as Aubreon Edwards is at the line. Catch you up on some Southland scores here in just a moment. First free throw by Edwards is in and out, no good. Abilene Christian right now leading Stephen F. Austin at the half, 43-33, a 10-point lead for the Wildcats over SFA. Central Arkansas up big on New Orleans, 40-23. They are at the half. Free throw by Edwards is good. Cameron Delaney will check in for the first time. Another halftime score, Southeastern Louisiana up one on Houston Baptist, 39-38. And at the half, Lamar leads Incarnate Word, 47-34. The big story right now, Stephen F. Austin trailing by 10 at Abilene Christian. That's what we always like to hear around here in Huntsville. <laughs> Absolutely. 21-point lead for the Bearcats. Richie Cameron Delaney checked in for the first time. He had a lot of action the other night. That shot is in and out no good. Offensive rebound by Lane, and the putback goes. Nice putback there by Lane. Now his seventh field goal he's made of the game so far. And he's really been a big impact for this Northwestern team. The rest of the squad just hasn't been able to rally around him as much to be able to make it less than a 19-point deficit. Josh Delaney for Galbraith. Up top for Cameron Delaney. Back to Galbraith, 17-foot jumper, left it short. Now with Aubreyon Edwards out of the game last week, Cameron Delaney got a lot of playing time. Seeing his first action here tonight, though. Edwards has certainly made his impression felt on this ball game. 13 points, three of four shooting. Two of three from three-point range. Edwards getting a rest here. So there's a three ball up and back iron no good by C.J. Jones. Lob into Galbraith, catches, actually checked that. That's Williams, and the ball stripped and knocked out of bounds. So it'll stay with the Bearcats, 21 on the shot clock. Cats will line up four across the free throw line for the inbound. Lob comes out to Almanza. Catch, shoot, side of the rim, no good. Galbraith chases it down and saves it, and it's Bearcat ball. Now that's what you call a playground play right there. Just throw it off of the defender's leg and just let it roll out of bounds. Good awareness there uh, by the Bearcats to be able to pull that one off. Well, it seems like Galbraith has been on every loose ball off the rebounds tonight. 15 boards. Almanza down low, comes up top for Delaney. Now to Galbraith, to Josh Delaney, back to Galbraith, and he's fouled and will go to the line. Shooting foul at Northwestern State. Fouls number 44, Cameron Lazar. Foul called on Cameron Lazar. Lazar in the ball game for the first time tonight. Galbraith first free throw up and good. Galbraith now 17 points, 15 boards.
Second free throw, no good. One of the things Jason Hooten has talked about with this team is he knew what he was going to have from Galbraith. He knew what he was going to have from Dewey. It was who else was going to be able to step up and find points. It has been Marcus Harris over the last couple of games, but now you see a game like tonight. Harris doesn't have it, but now you've got Aubrey on Edwards. Edwards has stepped in. He's put 13 in. There's a shot up, and it is good, and a foul called on Delaney. So the three-pointer is good, and a chance for a four-point play for the Demons. Yeah, just an unfortunate mistake there for Delaney as he collects his first foul of the game. Not a position you want to give uh, the the Demons, excuse me, uh, and have them get a chance for a four-point play. Free throw is up and no good. Three times this half now, we've had two three-point opportunities and now a four-point opportunity. Demons hadn't been able to cash in on any of those extra chances that they've been given. We talked about it early on, though. Free throw shooting has been their problem in conference play, just shooting 52% in the league. Tonight at the line, they are 14, or check that. That shot's good. They're 11 of 15 tonight, so they're making their shots. They just hadn't been cashing them in on the extra opportunities. Bearcat lead is back up to 19. Cats have led this one by as much as 21. Lane will step out, fire up a three, no good. It stays with the Demons. Floater in the paint, that's going to be a charge. Good work there by Albert Amanza to throw his body out in front, draw the whistle. And with that timeout, we've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take it. 3.28 left to play. Bearcats lead it. 6849. This is Sam Houston State That's basketball here on the Bearcat Sports Network. All right, fans. It's time to get up, get loud, because it's time to find that crazy candy. Back here at Johnson Coliseum. Bearcats lead it by 19. Almanza fires a three. No good. Can you kill my audio or your audio? Three minutes left in this one. Cats look like they are on their way to five straight in league play and a five and one start to the conference season as the ball is knocked into the backcourt. They're asking for the off the foot, and I think that may get corrected. Backcourt's the call, and it's going to stay with the Bearcats. Chidozu Indu will check in. The, the ask for the Demons was that it had gone off the foot, and I think it kind of had. There's a three ball up and no good. Offensive rebound by Williams. His shot blocked from behind. Indu just checked into the game and Chidozi finishes it at the rim. Big bucket there for the 6'11 freshman. Now, like you said, that one did actually go off the foot. Uh, I believe that was off of Almanza, but got a lucky break. 
Three ball by the Demons, up no good. That was Sweeney with it. Almanza out on the break. Long three by Delaney, no good. Almanza crashing for the rebound, couldn't get it. Demons out running with it. Sweeney on the wing. Wasn't there, lays it in for Owens. Owens backs his way in on Indu and stumbling backwards and he laid it in. So it doesn't matter who's matched up on Owens tonight, he's been able to score. Yeah, he said, I'm surprised they hadn't gone to him more. Yeah, he's, he's done a great job of getting to the basket and getting his opportunities and making the most of them. You know, five for eight in the game, uh, getting his 10 points and three rebounds so far. He's doing a good job. Williams into the corner for Delaney. Cameron Delaney, three, good. Cats have kind of found their range from outside here in the second half. Now seven of 22 for the game. Four here in the second half. They now lead it by 22. Owens backing in on Indu, and the ball stolen by Jamal Williams. So that's how you beat Owens there as Delaney pulls up. 15-foot jumper, no good. Almanza is going to be called for the over the back. Mike McConathy, the head coach for the Demons, said that's been going on all night, wanting to know why it's only now being called. A minute 14 left to play in the game. Bearcats leading 73-51. First free throw is up and good. That is Jacob Guest. One more free throw for Guest. In and out, no good. Nobody there to rebound for the Demons. Bearcat lead 21 as we approach a minute left. Three ball from the corner, in and out, no good. Williams with the rebound. His put back shot, that one goes. And we've got a whistle. I think they're resetting the clock. 59 seconds, so put a very important 1.6 seconds back on the clock here in this 23 point ball game. Can't shortchange anybody here. 75 52, Bearcats on top. Guest on the drive goes baseline. Did he walk with it? No, a foul's called on the Bearcats. Foul called on Indu. Indu hadn't been on the game long, but he's managing to do his best to fill up the columns in the score sheet. He's already got two points, two rebounds. And he's picked up a foul here, two minutes of play. Second free throw by Owens is no good. Post. Sure. Okay. 23-point Bearcat lead. Cats just keeping it around the perimeter, letting this clock run down. About an eight-second difference. Delaney pulls up for the jumper, no good. And Owens pulls down the rebound. Shot clock is off. And the Demons look to take one more heave at it. Guest into Owens. Owens won't get the shot off, and that will do it. So the Bearcats extend their Southland Conference win streak to, to five games as they improve to five and one in league play. The Demons remain winless. Now fall to 0-6, 3-14 -14 overall. The Bearcats now 11-8 overall and will now head out on the road for three out of four on the road here in a tough stretch of the schedule for the Bearcats as they have coming up Lamar, Southeastern Louisiana, SFA, and McNeese, some of the top teams in the league to go for the Bearcats. But they did what they needed to get done here today. 
and they walk out of here with a 23 point win. Just some impressions from you on the Bearcats tonight. Well, I thought the Bearcats did a really, really great job uh, on the boards, getting the rebounds that they needed it the most. 50 in the game, 30 of those coming in this second half. I thought they did a really good job of that. I also thought they did a really good job moving the ball around, passing it around to their teammates. 13 in the second half, 20 for the game. And of course, the other side, Northwestern State, only had seven, but that was for this entire half. So they also were able to limit on defense the amount of ball movement uh, for Northwestern, and that's what I believe was one of the big differences in this ball game. So once again, Bearcats win it 75 52. I want to thank Jordan Smith for joining me here tonight. I'm Jason Barfield. For everybody here on the Bearcat Sports Network crew, we want to thank you for joining us here tonight. Bearcats win it by 23 here on the Bearcat Sports Network.